Hello, uh, we are here today at Centro Stile Lamborghini HQ in Santa Gata, Bolognese. We are here with uh, Lamborghini's all new flagship uh, V12 supercar. It's the Revuelto. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And with me, I have our good friend, Mitya Borkert, who's Lamborghini's head of design. Uh, and so who better to talk us through uh, the design elements of this car uh, than Mitya? And uh, Mitya, good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you for the warm words. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, welcome everyone here. Yeah. This is our design center and it's actually the place where our new Lamborghini Revuelto was born. I see. And this car must be very close to your heart because if I recall correctly, you came on board uh, to Lamborghini at uh, 2016. Uh, so this is the first car that truly bears the Meteor stamp. So this must be very close to your heart. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, every Lamborghini is, but of course this uh, project, Lamborghini Revuelto, the new flagship, the car that is opening the door now for the next decade is of course, has been our biggest project in the recent years. Yes. It actually has been also the biggest design research we have ever done in Sant'Aga de Bolognese, at least uh, since I'm here. We did more than 17 different models in a small scale, uh, as you see behind this car. And this is the outcome, this is the output, this is our, you know, our result. Um, and I'm very, very proud. And you see a lot of elements on, for example, Terzo Milenio, but then again, this Revuelto is following 100% our Lamborghini design DNA. Indeed. But uh, while it does that, it's also, in a sense, the biggest departure from Lamborghini's design language of, let's say, the past decade or decade and a half. You've kind of really moved it on and you've sort of infused this with a slightly different character while still retaining the Lamborghini uh, design DNA. Is that a correct sort also of? here, thank you very much for those uh, warm words. For me, um, we took uh, inspiration on all of our legendary cars. Mm -hmm. As you know, when you come to St. Agatha, then you are entering the epicenter of car design, the epicenter of super sports car design. So, and of course, we have legendary cars, the Countach, the Diablo, the Mostelago, and of course the Aventador. Yes. And with our new Revuelto, we took of course inspiration because the general design line, the silhouette is from the Countach, and we will see later we have the scissor doors. We have a little bit this uh, design craziness of the Diablo, uh, especially on, the, on those wings here and on the rear fender. We have this uh, quite self-secure look on the front lights of the Mostelago, and then of course the Aventador uh, was our pinnacle of the last 11 years, but now it's time to move on towards the future. As you already said, uh, with this car we want to have a new starting point, mm -hmm. so uh, we have a complete new chassis, a, new, a complete new monocoque, a complete new powertrain. So um, we wanted to dress all this passion of our engineers with a dress that is then of course ready for the next decade. So we start with a shark nose, a very aggressive front. We have a lot of acceleration in, in, in all the corners of the car because we wanted to make it look really agile and compact. And then we have completely worked on all the proportions of the car. So um, the starting point, not only on the design, but then what is the wheelbase that we want? Please recognize also we have uh, 21 inch wheels. As you know, designers always want to have big wheels. Here we have 21 inch in the front, 22 inch on the rear. This is something unique uh, in this segment of cars. Then the interior, also here in this case, uh, the interior was driving the proportions because we have around eight centimeter more uh, leg room in the, in the interior. The Revuelto is also <coughs> slightly higher. But again, we were designing this with our silhouette line. We have the typical inclination of the side windows. Uh, but then all the lines, they are starting on this pointy front, embracing the monocoque and finishing here in a perfect way uh, with um, the exhaust pipes. There's a lot of aerodynamic in the car, of course. Uh, you see uh, air channels, you see uh, with this blade here that we are transporting the hot air out of the front. Um, uh, front wheel. Uh, we have here also the Y-shape uh, air intake and, and by the way hexagon Y-shape no, is always a significant element of Lamborghini so the Y-shape is the significant night uh, signature on the car especially um, when you see when you will see this car in the future driving through the tunnels uh, driving through the city centers you will see this Y-shape arriving and you will 
um, a Lamborghini will be even more recognizable with this. Yeah? So the Y shape is everywhere in the wheels, in the details. Um, as we move on towards the rear, um, of course, um, a lot of uh, people that see for the first time the Revuelto is always asking, um, the engine is like this, and maybe you know that I like motorcycles. And yes, we wanted to really celebrate and show the engine. So there is no glass cover, nothing on it. And uh, this is all technically checked, no worries. So we wanted to really uh, celebrate in design the V12. So it's like the heart of the car uh, that is beating and we wanted to show it. So all these lines are finishing here with this hexagon exhaust pipe. We have integrated aerodynamic. By the way, every surface of the car is, uh, in the end of the day, designed because the top speed is uh, 350. So we are always talking about high performance uh, surfaces. Uh, Gautam, my favorite view is the one, if we go a little bit higher with the camera, over the exhaust pipes, over the engine, you see the acceleration of the cabin, and you can already see this little alien inside of yes. the interior. Yeah? Yes. So, um, you know, we are always designing the, the car with a spaceship design. Yes, that's particularly evident yeah. from the back. So, and Gautam, when you, go, when, you, when you go inside of a spaceship, you can find an astronaut or an alien. Okay. Let's have a look what we Let, found. Let's what, see what, what we, we did find here. here. So in the case of our new Revuelto, we have placed an alien inside. So we have this Y shape uh, done in carbon fiber um, on the uh, on the center console. And you know another super cool thing on being in Lamborghini as a designer is we always go to the race tracks. We always go to Nardo, that is our reference track, and I'm allowed to to join the team drives there. So um, what you see in the interior here is 100% uh, the essence also of those experience going to the track. So we have a feel like a pilot philosophy, a super low seat position. So we were gaining a lot of space, listening also to the customers. Now they can wear the helmet uh, driving the Lamborghini. Uh, we have a new steering wheel, we have a dashboard that is super lightweight. Uh, we have a feel like a pilot philosophy with all those buttons here. Uh, so you can immediately have everything under control. My favorite one is the launch control and the lift function. So you don't need to think long. And then in every detail, you know, I think every kid is dreaming about wants to start the engine of a Lamborghini. So this is always the very heart of our interior philosophy. But then uh, we have uh, the family feeling, for example, the indicator in the steering wheel, the grab, the, you know, the, the sections that we have in the steering wheel is absolutely done for driving. And this is um, for me also this new step into the future. This interior is also a quantum leap in terms of interior design for Lamborghini. Absolutely, As, especially the center section. Uh, that seems to be a, a complete sort of reinvention of the format you had before. Uh, you mentioned the sort of the alien shape and then you have the new touchscreen interface, which uh, is probably a cleaner piece of design but also maybe uh, uh, simpler to use from the, from the driver's point of view. Yes. I mean, there's a, you have also a kid, no? so I'm driving a lot with my son, uh, Lamborghinis. So I was always imagining how you use this car. Yeah? So uh, you can put your telephone here in the center console. Um, now I cannot demonstrate here, but we have um, all the screens are communicating between each other. You can swipe functions, uh, your radio station, for example, from screen to screen. Uh, whoever is your passenger can enjoy uh, also the the infos, speed, what gear and uh, you know what acceleration you can see uh, in the entertainment screen there. Mm -hmm. Then uh, yeah, we have this diffuser. Yeah, so this air uh, outlet here is working like a diffuser. Um, you are activating this then um, on the on the screen. You have hexagonal shapes on the air outlets on the outside. Um, we have a cup holder here that is uh, that is hidden. Uh, so you you have a beautiful balance between the functionality you know, driving to the best, but then also for the everyday use, if you want, or for the track day use, um, you can really live inside of this interior, feeling like a pilot and uh, doing a beautiful weekend trip, for example. Uh, again, also here the feedback of the customers. We have a trunk that is fitting two cabin trolleys, for example, which right. in the first moment you think is not necessary on a super sports car, but you want to enjoy on, on a nice weekend. You have space uh, behind the seats. And you, as I say, you have a complete new roominess uh, on the interior. 
and everything feels like a Lamborghini, feels like a pilot. So maybe you mentioned the uh, trunk, maybe we could move around to the front section of the car and take a look at uh, how much space there is in there. We cut here because they don't want to open the trunk. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. So then maybe we move it, to... Everything is there, but uh, they, they for, for a reason they wanted to avoid okay, fair doing enough. this. Okay, yeah. so maybe we'll conclude on the outside of the Absolutely. car. Absolutely. And uh, so we'll go outside and uh, recognize here our, you know, what I really like is also the door handles. Um, they are um, also like, a, you know, like a trigger oh, button yes. so opening electronically. Like and then Gautam also notice how easy you can now exit and enter into our car. Because also here the rocker panel is dramatically reduced by 20 centimeters and the scissor doors are opening with a, a certain inclination so you have also a much easier and more relaxed and more cool entry into yes, our Yes, because you, uh, I think the sill was wide and it was high in exactly. the Aventador, exactly. which made it challenging. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a fabulous piece of design. So. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations. I, I think you've really kind of uh, uh, moved the Aventador, uh, what was the Aventador, into the next decade. Uh, but yet you've still sort of kept the Lamborghini uh, DNA, uh, which is very clear with all the Y elements and the hexagons. So if you were to kind of encapsulate the design in, I don't know, in uh, two sentences, um, what would you, how would you describe uh, the design of this car? I mean, my, my, my best sentence is, we wanted to give adrenaline a shape. Okay. So you, I mean, in the end of the day, wherever a Lamborghini is arriving, um, because the car always looks like out of space, it looks like a spaceship. And you know, the car is always inspiring. Uh, a Lamborghini is always attracting the young audience. Yeah? All the, the kids, for sure, always run uh, to a Lamborghini. Oh, there's a Lamborghini. And then they, they, they enjoy the car. So. Um, this is something that I'm looking forward. I think we gave a lot of inspiration uh, for this next future of Lamborghini. And again, thank you for your warm words about the design. Myself, my team, I think everyone in Lamborghini is absolutely convinced about our new product. And now we are looking forward to see it then driving around and on the, the indeed, planet. Indeed. Uh, and you've showcased the car in, I think, Arancio Orange, if I pronounced that correctly. Yes. Um, is that the color that you feel showcases the, the car the best, or do you have any other colors that you Of course, uh, Gautam. I mean, we are the champions of the colors, offering more than 400 different colors, um, you know, glossy, matte colors uh, with metallic effects and so on. Yeah. Interior, more than 70 different colors. So we give our customers a nice challenge, I think, uh, uh, to, to do the configuration of their dream Lamborghini. Yeah. Um, in this case here, I mean, when we do a lounge color, then of course we spend a lot of uh, thoughts on what color we want to give. Orange for sure is one of our, our iconic colors. Yes. Next to yellow, next to green, next to the matte colors for sure. So this is dressing for sure perfectly our car. Myself, uh, you know, out of the inspirations that we give, I would, uh, I would choose one uh, in matte color. Uh, that would be my personal choice, but the Arancho Apodis is, is again is beautifully uh, showing all the shapes of uh, our new uh, Lamborghini Revuelto, yes. and uh, for sure also a lot of customers will for sure take it as well. Uh, absolutely, and you certainly wouldn't lose it in a car park, would you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Well, Mitya, thank you very much for your thank time. You, uh, that was a brilliant walk around of the car, and uh, congratulations. And we look forward to driving it over the coming months. Okay, thank so, you so much. Again. See you in the future and enjoy our Lamborghinis. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Perfect. Lovely. Okay, thank you. Thanks That's very much.